Hafara everyone, welcome back to episode number 15 of uh, this, uh, I want to call it beautiful series uh, between me and uh, of course our friend and my collaborator uh, $2.20 uh, Hafara, Skibbeth and Hafara everybody So uh, what uh, are we going to do today? Well, um, everyone I think noticed uh, the title and uh, we are going to lock up the <laughs> the ones that are going to start the revolution <laughs> in Osaka, right? Mm. So we need a place for them. I mean, we need a nice park. Uh, and I this think park I think is... there's a lot of people in our um, in our in our Osarian community, people who comment on our channel, who probably deserve to be locked up in this prison over here. Yeah, freedom and crumbs, McGee. Mm. Uh, we built your little house, guys. Uh, to so... name a few, to name a few. <laughs> there's a cell with your name on it. Yeah, only few, only few, <laughs> only few revolutionaries. Or, yeah. So we are doing the prison, guys. Um, and um, Los Gecko helped us with some cool uh, buildings. Yeah, some cool assets, new assets, totally new assets for uh, Osaka and uh, for you as well. So um, these are the walls that I'm going to use, which were released. If I'm not mistaken, they already were released with. The palace walls uh, two or three episodes ago, and uh, but beside these uh, we have some new buildings as well. He did a modular prison, which are uh, has uh, four buildings, different buildings, different shape, different forms. Yeah, and uh, this way you can do your own prison. You can do your own. Uh, yeah, you can do your own prison because you can do anything of any kind of shape, any kind of, I don't know, maybe... I, I would plop lots of buildings, but um, everyone has the freedom of doing it. Oh, actually there are five because there is also a tower. So yeah, there are five. And, um, and my understanding is, it, and it's not a working prison, is it? Or is it actually a prison? Or is it just so, a prop? Uh, and, Two of them are working as a police station because uh, that's how a prison works in uh, city skylines. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, three, uh, the other three of them are only prop buildings. I mean, they don't uh, work. So yeah, these big ones are really buildings. You can see they require some uh, roads there, but uh, the small ones are just props. So yeah, something like this. But I guess like if, if anyone, you know, if you're not a, a, a big, um, you know, if you play City Skylines and you're not a massive modder, then like, I mean, mods that you would need to build this prison, uh, move it and um, like what other, like maybe even line prop tool, prop line tool and, um, you know, a couple of other ones to name a few. But, you know, even if you just hide a couple of prisons in here or even a couple more, um, police stations, I mean, this is just a really beautiful, high-functioning prison, um, even though it is very much in the Asarian um, style. But, I mean, I, I highly encourage everybody to um, definitely download this uh, asset collection. And if you are following us on Twitter, I encourage you to do that as well. But tag us in your builds, because I'd love to see a couple of other takes using this um, these props and these assets and... Um, tag us in it. Like, I really, really would love to see that. Yeah, yeah. Listen to what Tudor has said, guys. Indeed, we would love to see some nice builds from you. And uh, yeah, don't forget to rate um, our collaborators' uh, work. It is the most appreciated uh, also by us and by them. Um, this way you can, let's say, show them some love and support uh, and uh, thank them for uh, giving us uh, these beautiful uh, buildings and assets. They're, they're, it's really this it looks amazing like the actual the assets look incredible i haven't seen them in the flesh yet so i'm pretty keen to actually check them out um this is the first build i've seen us do with them so i'm really interested to see what the what the texture's like and you know check out some of the cinematics you have at the end and um and yeah lost gecko you're a bloody champion like these look so good <laughs> and it's, it's such a fine addition to our um our little country yeah, exactly exactly yeah yeah los gecko thanks so much man for for helping us with these assets which are super sexy and uh yeah i, I think this is the first time by the way i have to mention this this is the first time when i'm doing a prison in city skylines 
and I'm not kidding at all. I mean, I never did any prison, not even plopping uh, the vanilla prison or any other prison from the workshop. If uh, I, I don't even know if there is another prop on the prison prop on the no, it is no. I just remembered. Um, Armesto has one uh, in Lugo style, but uh, it doesn't really look like a prison. Anyways, I haven't used them. So it's my first time doing or plopping a prison actually in this game. Uh, and also I haven't used the Google Maps too much because I try to find some nice prisons and to try to make, uh, to take some inspiration from there. Uh, but the only thing that I, let's say, not didn't like but yeah let's take from that um it was it was they were all looking the same uh a simple shape or not too much and after all i don't know it's a prison and has to be simple and uh, it has to be very easy to be guard guarded by uh, the police and and so on but uh, i've tried to do something else like you know sahra style in our style in my style and um, yeah, that's that's what I intended. So it's it's a, diff a little bit of different kind of uh, prison, I might say. And um, now I I was I'm doing a little uh, electrical uh, electrical station, and also I don't want to call it a gas station because sounds like a gas station, and no no car is going to <laughs> uh, to load some fuel from there, but. Um, there are some gas tanks, I don't know, maybe they are just giving some... Uh, oh yeah, maybe they are going to gas the prison. No, don't mm, say yeah, maybe. No, no, we, no, like, no. We, didn't, we didn't call them gas stations. In, um, <laughs> we didn't call them gas stations in Australia, so like... I don't know how that's call, it's called, really. I'm not sure how it's called. Mm. Yeah, I, don't, I, I, I think a gas station would be right. Yeah, gas station. I remember it's water. Who knows? People can make up whatever they think it is. <laughs> yeah, 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 maybe it's water to wash the prisoners when they come. That's right, for the showers. <laughs> yeah, for the showers. Mm, and, they deserve uh, showers in this prison. Uh, they do, they do. It's uh, pretty hot and uh, dry. No, it's not a dry area, actually. I think the humidity is quite big. Mm. Or, it's, uh, or it's dry there. How it is in this country? For example, in Egypt, going to be how pretty... Is um, I yeah, I like right. pretty cold, cold evenings and yeah, like yeah. scorching of heat in the day. Like perhaps I don't know if it's anything like Australia. That's um, pretty much Australia in a nutshell. Yeah, I think so. Well, it is uh, how it is. I don't know how it is, but it is how it is. Um, and also, I've used some buses there. You can see them. Uh, you can spot them in that corner. Um, I will get back to them and do a few more things there later on. Uh, but I used those buses. I wanted to have some police buses in order, you know, like those who bring the inmates uh, in the prison. And yeah, I'd love to see some of them driving in, you know, like driving oh, in to deliver uh, yeah. some prisoners, a whole bunch of prisoners coming out. I mean, like that's impossible. But like. I found <laughs> I found only props buses, not uh, vehicle, unfortunately. But uh, it is something. It's okay. -ish. It's okay. -ish. And uh, now I'm working at the um, recreational, can I say recreational mm. area or is it this I how it's called? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, recreational yeah. Area, Recreational, right? okay. gymnasium. Oh. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd definitely call it that. Exactly. So I'm looking at this uh, place right now and I plopped, uh, I plopped those decals uh, looking like a basketball court. <laughs> but I saw them being way, way too colorful. Not only for a prison, they were too colorful anyways, uh, but especially for a prison. So I said, uh, can I do one myself? I mean, yeah. And the what I did is now, yes, you can. <laughs> yes, I, well, uh, yeah. I, I could have done even the, uh, the other drawings near the basketball um, uh, props, you know, where you throw your ball. But mm. then again, I said, come on, it's a prison. Uh, they don't have to detail everything. Usually in a prison, I don't think they even have lines on the ground. They just have uh, pavement and uh, the basketball um, things. I don't know how they call, to call them. I'm, I'm, I'm so jealous, man. Like, I'm just watching this build and just going like, what? It looks so good. I, I really wish I could justify building another prison in... 
or Sarah because um, it just looks so freaking amazing. Um, I, I really would love to see some people tag us in some prison builds because it looks really, really fun. I might even just build it just for the sake of building a prison. Um, so yeah, I mean, definitely tag us in any prison builds you get up to. And um, yeah, well, I'll be so, I'll be really, really keen to see them. But yeah, man, you've done a really good job. And particularly if you're not looking at Google Maps because I'm lost about Google Maps on this game. I have to look at it, otherwise I'd make an absolute mess. Uh, and I guess, yeah, it would be really hard to find some Google images of prisons and especially in this sort of style. I can't imagine people would be taking too many photographs in prisons in the first place. Um, but yeah, you've really mastered it. You've really got some cool concepts and the recreational areas and the courtyards and the fences, like all these bits and pieces that just make it look like beautiful. Very, very good. Thank you, man. Thank you. Most appreciated. Uh, well, I, I've did my best. I've did my best uh, to use my imagination. I think more of these ideas came from what I've seen, maybe in movies. I'm not even sure what I from where I got the inspiration. But uh, it, it's it's okay. I mean, I'm satisfied. I will get back with some stuff. Uh, even though, guys, you see me now doing some work and then you see me jumping to another thing on the in the prison uh usually i get back either off camera or during a time lapse i get back and probably more more or a few more things there for example in the courtyard i am going to plop uh, some i, I want to call them tribunes but let's say those places where the inmates can just uh, stay and watch and i don't know maybe meditating stuff i don't know what they're doing <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is what I'm doing and there are like four or five corps of, of these prisons with three little, uh, not three, one main um, yard, a relaxation area and uh, two or three more small ones, I'm not sure at this point, but even though it doesn't really matter. Um, and also I found these cool... Um, platforms where the <laughs> not, I'm kidding, not the snipers, but where the uh, guards uh, can stay and patrol and just oh, look over the entire prison. They look pretty damn cool, even though they are just industrial platforms, I can use them in a prison like no problem. And they also fit I want... so well. Yeah, they fit super well, I mean, uh, and after all they have, they look awesome. I think they are made by... Um, uh geometry i think mm. i'm not totally sure i don't want to say stupid thing but i think they are made by geometry and uh, they look really awesome also i plop some trees inside the prison i'm not sure how uh, realistic it is, this is but i i felt that like i have to plop few trees only not too many few i think i which... think they'd have some they'd, they've got to have some and look at the security on this thing is what is it barbed wire fence and then there's like a wall and yeah, then there's yeah. like another wall and a not to mention their cell like you'd, you'd have to be an absolute mastermind to get out of a prison like this this is the alcatraz uh, prison in osaka style <laughs> mm, so is it really is yeah we can call it um uh, Alcatraz or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, look, I mean, not saying that was a bad name, but if anyone wants to name our prison down below, um, please have a crack. Um, oh, you know what? Mm. We can call it Alcatraz, but uh, by using two words like Al and Catraz. Uh, uh, okay, yep. Um, let me just uh -huh. go back on that. Uh, nobody comment in the comments below. We have chosen our <laughs> name. <laughs> we will not listen to your comments. We will delete your com No, we won't. But yeah. Um, yeah, that's a great name. That's a beautiful yeah, name. Yeah, well, it just came up in a funny moment, but uh, it is uh, funny. It's funny. But Picked it out of your prison, brain somewhere, yeah. I think this prison, I th we want to make this build. And you know what? I think you can have an excuse and make another prison. If we will have too many uh revolutionaries or if the revolution will be very big because we said that in a in the past episode and i will repeat and i will keep saying that and maybe two dollars will say it a few more times as well uh <clears throat> we will do something related to the revolution that you want to start guys in osakra and uh, there will be something uh, related to that and also this one has to be related because we have to 
make a nice hotel for you guys to stay there and relax and chill about and and think twice before <laughs> you want to start. That's the right. Yeah. Think about your mistakes and your betrayal against <laughs> our fine country. Viva mm. la dictadores. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you meant like I'd really love to build another prison. I don't think anybody would watch because you know they've probably seen your prison and thought, "Oh, that's enough prisons." But mark my words, I'm going to build a prison because it looks so good, looks like a lot of fun, and um, perhaps in the next episode I'll build something a little bit smaller because after building those farms in the last episode, I am just a little bit burnt out on a massive, huge scale project like that ended up being. No regrets, but that was that was a big project. Which looks pretty awesome because I I've seen it for the first time uh, Friday when I did when we did the stream the yeah. live stream on Osa in Osaka and well I've, I've seen it just before the uh, stream started because I wanted to make a cinematic and I do not want to remember <laughs> of the start of that uh, how the entire live stream started with a little <laughs> error I don't know my video card crashed I, I don't know what happened. <laughs> uh, but uh, that area really uh, looks amazing, freaking amazing. And um, after you, after you logged out, after you went off uh, during the live stream, at the end of the live stream, we kept uh, continued for I mean I think 20 minutes more, something like that. And I got the freedom of doing a little. Uh, Modification in your area, and uh, I wanted to make a uh, to have a. I took a cow from those that you plop near the train <laughs> train tracks. I do, I do not uh, admit this. Uh, and I, I said, if I'm a dictator, I can't do something here, and I want to to show people what can happen and. I cut the cow into two pieces and I, well, I, I, let's say I buried the cow till the neck, you know, only the head can be seen, but let's imagine that that cow <laughs> was cut in two by the train or something. <laughs> 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 we, we had a nice laugh we were during the live stream. For those who didn't watch the live stream, you should go and watch the live stream. We had a nice time there, all five oh, of us. So, um, so I go ahead and, you know, spend on the whole Sunday building uh, a masterpiece <laughs> and you go ahead and with your crafty skills and just get in there and start trolling my area. Yeah. Beautiful. Uh, oh like I've, I've already got a revolution, <laughs> you know, bloody rebels to deal with. Now I have to deal with a rogue dictator. Thank you very uh, much. Only one cow, man. It's uh, nice. The meat, uh, but the people really said thank you for the meat for the other half you know the corp the I, I warn you skibbeth because you know this this will this could end up escalating and becoming no. something that you know after every build we end up you know adding some crazy thing in each person's build actually no screw you i'm 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 when i when i load up this game i'm gonna no. load up no. your your place your thing you just built and i'm going to hide something there and you can <laughs> have the pleasure of Finding it, maybe a I'll put dead it body, somewhere. right? Uh, you, you are going to 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 put a dead body somewhere. Yeah, <laughs> who knows? I'm not going to tell you what it is. <laughs> Which, by the way, I do remember now that I said a dead body. I remember if and you as well, and all those who were um, present uh, in the live stream. I, God, I saw those all those ambulances coming and taking, let's say, sick people from buildings, and. I'm not sure. This is how they look before. I mean, the sick people, they look like mummies, for God's name. <laughs> really? Uh, this is how they look for, like, forever? Yeah, I guess so. I, I don't know. I, I, I haven't, I've never really noticed or even zoomed in that close to the ambulance. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you if you guys want to check out what we're talking about, check out the live stream. <laughs> Probably about halfway through, we... We found mummies. Yeah, we found mummies that were probably transporting those dead bodies to um, the pyramids that I built many moons ago. Yeah, you know what? I think so. I think so, man. That would be cool and awesome. And I want to see it. Uh, okay, so we are getting close to our um, video for today. I mean, for the time lapse part, because after this, the cinematics will start. And uh, how can we end if not in a 
in the best way ever. Uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, hope you will going to hit that uh, thumbs up button because this will mean a lot for us. And of course, hit us with all kind of comments, pictures. Uh, hit us, follow us on Twitter and say what you think about uh, Osaka. Give us pictures, uh, stories, those beautiful stories that you always uh, post. And uh, if you are new to this um, series, don't forget to subscribe because more is about to come and we will have a surprise later on maybe. So yeah, follow us guys and uh, once more, thanks for watching. See you later.